After watching Zelda get captured, everything we have gone through finally culminates to the tower that's been looming over Hyrule. As we approach Ganon's castle with only one thing left to do, let's head on in and see what we couldn't have missed for the last time. With Ganon's castle being separated into sections that were based off of each dungeon, every player gets to reminisce on their whole journey up till this point. This feature was also thought out so that players who forgot who each sage was would receive a refresher on who they were right before fighting Ganon. The Golden Gauntlets are one of the most iconic gear upgrades in Ocarina of Time. Its extremely cool effect on the obelisks that we can now throw around like nothing really put into perspective how far we have come from the Goron Bracelet. However, when Link receives this new piece of gear, it's almost as if he's hypnotized to instantly neglect his responsibility to save Hyrule by running outside and testing it out on the first rock he sees. In the water section of Ganon's castle, this is one of the only areas that completely neglects its temple's namesake, and utilizes the cavern as a blueprint for its section. While many people attribute this to the developers disliking their design of the Water Temple, this is actually due to the fact that Ganon's view of himself is cool, and if he melts the ice to create a Water Temple-like section, that would mean the downfall of his ice-cold attitude. Deeper in Ganon's castle, we find the fire section of the dungeon. This room is very similar to one of the Fire Temple's rooms, and actually is a very similar parallel feature. In the Fire Temple, there's a room that when you fall, it sends you back to one of the first rooms of the dungeon. This is perfectly mirrored inside this section of Ganon's castle, by when falling off a platform in this room, your collected silver rupees reset. Everyone knows that you can actually deflect Ganon's attacks with a bottle, but did you know? The way Ganon reflects attacks back is also by a bottle. If we zoom in and look very carefully, we can see it plain as day as an empty bottle. And finally, as we all know, the reason Ganon is able to transform is because of his Triforce of Power. But, the shape he takes, weirdly enough, is said to be his true form, meaning that even though he lived his whole life with the illusion of free choice, no matter what path he took, he would still eventually steal the Triforce of Power and take form as a monstrosity, which usually ends 9 times out of 10 by a child Link with the Deku Stick. And that is the end of what you couldn't have missed in every awkward enough time dungeon. I hope you're entertained at my grasping at straws, and if you enjoyed it, you know what to do.